Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and I hope you will consider subscribing if you are interested in videos that talk all about life and the things that affect our lives on a regular basis. So that's everything from makeup to recipes to just things that happen in our life that we just need a solution to. And that is what today is about. And if you have a dog that will not stop barking at everything that moves or every time the doorbell rings, it's like a stampede to the door with barking, you need this product. Want to know what it is? Stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so I have two amazing dogs. One is almost nine and we rescued him from a shelter and he is a Jack Russell mixed with something. We don't know what. The other one is a one-year-old mini Australian Shepherd, and we've done several videos on her. If you're interested in why we got her and kind of watching her grow up a little bit, I have other videos that you can check out and I'll put that in the description box below. But the older one has taught the younger one some bad habits, like every time the doorbell rings. They're jumping over each other to see who can get to the door fastest, barking their heads off. And one of the times this happened, my husband and I were sitting on the couch and it was like, okay, we cannot take this anymore. We have to find a solution that is humane, but works. And he actually found this and <laughs> texted it to me while sitting on the couch. And I thought, well, I don't know if this is gonna work, mm. but I bought it to try it out. And here is what it is. It is the Planet, Planetico. I don't even know how to say this. Planet Tico. It's a dog collar that has two different lengths of these little screws that screw in. And that's the long one. This is the short one here. And the way that you decide which one you're gonna use is if you have a really long haired dog, you're gonna use the long one. This one, if you have a short haired dog, you're gonna use the short one. We have both. So I bought uh, the extra collar. It comes with one collar, but you can buy an extra collar and the remote has two different settings for dog A, dog B, or them combined. Now it does have a shock collar mode on it. We do not use that, we, it doesn't, it, we, we don't need it. it. It works perfectly fine in one of these other settings that I'm gonna tell you about. You don't need the shock collar at all. What it does have, which is really cool, is this vibrating button. So all it does is buzz on their throat. It doesn't hurt them at all. They make no noise whatsoever. They don't yelp, nothing. It does not hurt them at all. But it just vibrates on their neck and they don't like that feeling and so they quit barking. And you tell them, no barking, whenever they do it. But also the cool thing about this is that I don't want my dogs to think they can never bark. If they're outside, if they're playing or whatever and they bark, that's fine. And I don't wanna put a collar on them that every time the vocal cords move, it, it triggers it and then they think they're in trouble because they're barking. This, you can do it only when you don't want the behavior to be happening. And because you can do that, you can teach other commands. Like if you don't want your dog barking or jumping, you do one at a time for a month at a time until they've really got the first one down. Because in the instructions it says, if you buzz them for everything that they do wrong, then they're gonna be confused and not understand which action you're not liking. So you start with one thing at a time. So just the barking at first, and then later once they figure that out, if they're jumping on your guests, and you buzz them, then you can teach no jumping. So this is really cool for all sorts of unwanted commands. There's also a button here that does a, a noise. It does a noise if they'll listen to a noise and it beeps at them and that stops them from barking, then all it does is beep. I have found that the vibrating thing works the best. And all I have to do is put these collars on them and then it has different modes. You can turn the dog part on and then it has A and B here, and there's the all different things. It's the buzzing, it's the vibrating, it's the shock. So when you turn it on, it has A and B for dog A. If you hit it again, it goes to just B. If you hit it again, it's just A. And you hit it again, it's both. So if they're both barking, all you have to do is hit this three times. One, two, three. Both of them will buzz, they'll both stop barking. It, it worked in our house in less than a week. And when we don't have the collars on, we've only had it two weeks. So when we don't have the collars on, they will still bark. But when the second we put these on, 
the doorbell rings, they both kind of do this. And then they're like, we're not supposed to bark. So the nine-year-old, who is a little bit more set in his ways, will be like, <laughs> just do this low-pitched growl. And that'll be like, no barking. And I just do this. And he just goes over and lays down. They don't bark. It works amazingly. So I'm gonna show you. Now they'll probably not do it because it's like the singing frog on the Warner Brothers, but I'll ring the doorbell and film them without the collars on. And then I'll ring the doorbell and film them with the collars on and show you how this thing works. Okay, so she didn't bark because she's already learning, but he did. Let's try it with the collars on. Two weeks, didn't even have to push it. I love this thing. So you can see, you can barely see it on her because she's got so much fur on her. It's kind of under there. On him, you can definitely see it. It's kind of bulky. That's kind of the, one of the only drawbacks to this is it's pretty bulky. But, are you all right? <laughs> but it works. Okay, so there you have it. I got it off Amazon. I'm gonna put it in, in the description box below, a link to it in case you wanna check it out. It, it works so good and you don't have to shock your dog. Um, you do have to walk around with this though. That's kind of the only drawback is that it has to be near you because if you're sitting there at the dinner table and the doorbell rings and it's not near you and they haven't learned yet the behavior, you, you got to run and find it and then you know buzz it and then they quit. So if you can carry it around with you the first few days especially to make sure that every time they bark and you don't want them barking, you can hit it. Um, it will just teach them faster. And then after a while, like I said, when they're wearing these things, most of the time, even now after two weeks, they don't make a sound because they're wearing them. So eventually the, the deal is they won't have to wear them anymore because they'll just know they can't bark when the doorbell rings, but we're still in our first two weeks. And so I think that they do need to kind of continue to wear them. The next thing that we're gonna do, and maybe I'll do an update in another month on this, our Aussie, our mini Aussie jumps on everyone when they come in. And she's a miniature, but she's still big enough to get up to, on people and we don't want her jumping so that's gonna be our next thing to train her on to see if that will work to not jump but for the barking awesome and you don't use the shock part I, I mean it, it's unnecessary in my opinion and it does shock them it's like when you you know touch a piece of metal and you get shocked it, I'm sure it feels like that but I, it, you don't need it you don't need it I think the buzzing and the beeping options will work perfectly fine and uh, I love it. So check this out in the description box, try it out, leave me a comment below and tell me if it works for your dog because I have two different dogs, one old, one young, and it has worked on both of them in less than a week. So I am loving it. Check it out in the description box below. I hope that you have found this informative and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that you know might be interested in this or like maybe share it with your neighbor if they have a barking dog that's annoying you. You'd be like, hey, watch this video. It's amazing. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. Stay inspired, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.